were dark and stormy clouds over the market as they heard eerie footsteps bounce off walls of concrete that should never have heard the echo of feet. So Pike's Place in Seattle is super haunted and so few people talk about it, right? It has got all sorts of spooky shenanigans that go on that I think are fascinating. I love that area of Seattle. I always think it's a fun area. Um, years and years ago, I went on a bizarre date there. <laughs> but I love all the ghosts that are around that we don't talk about, right? Like the ghosts in plain sight, the ones that everybody hears all the time. They hear the echoes, they see the movement, they put something down in a shop, they turn around, it's in a slightly different place, right? And what's it mean when the everyday is supernatural? How do we even process that? And that's such an important question to ask because we always associate the supernatural with being something over in the corner, something unusual, something that we just don't see a lot of, something so unnatural that it's hidden in the dark shadows of midnight. And it's something so normal, it's like such a tourist destination. Pike's Place Market is, you've seen that big neon sign in the orange and like everybody knows it. Um, pro tip, my favorite time of year, go in the summer when they've got all the flowers. Oh my God, I love all the flowers there. I never haul my butt there to go get flowers enough, but I love it, it's such a fun spot in the summer. In the winter, it is freezing cold. <laughs> I took my, uh, I took my brother there years ago. Yeah, I did. And I was like, I was gonna tell. I told him all the spooky stories, and I showed him all the fun stalls. And it was so cold that he was just like, "Can we go now? I'm freezing my bum off." It's like, oh, it's not that cold. This is just, you know, Seattle warm winter day. <laughs> so one of the things that's most commonly mentioned is down below on the lowest level you go into the shops and there's you know Tibetan fabrics and there's a shop that's got um, prints and screens that you can buy to hang up on the wall as posters and if you stand there you'll feel the energy change it's just this eerie spot where it's cold in a way that it's almost from the inside out instead of from a cold breeze from upstairs where it's a little more open. It's cold from the inside out. And then as you, as you go into the stores, it feels like you have a companion there right on your shoulder. You feel, oh my goodness, someone is watching me over my shoulder. The skin on the back of your neck stands up and you feel this presence follow you from shop to shop. Almost like the cold emanating out of your body is then hovering by you. So just imagine, corner of your eye, spark of white fabric that shouldn't be there, the edge of a dress, the scent of a woman's hair, Things out of place, largely out of time. Definitely not in your natural world, but there, and undeniably there. And I think that that is often what frightens us so much, is when we can't say, it was just the corner of my eye. It was just that it was midnight. It was just that I was in a spooky place. You're there. You're having a good time, you're seeing the sights, and even then, you feel that chill. Even then, that presence follows you, and you try to shake it off. You go up the stairs, each foot carefully hitting the steps not to trip, and you can feel the presence hanging back down there. And you start to catch your breath again as you come up. You go past the fish throwing stall, and you go past the handmade pasta, and you start to breathe it, and you get to that open area with a lot of jewelry and crafts, 
And you think, okay, it was just in my mind. And just as you're thinking that, you feel a wisp on your foot, or you see an eerie set of eyes just in the corner. And just as you focus on them, they aren't really there after all. And you can't quite explain it. And that's one of those super spooky, eerie things. When you go and let the supernatural be a part of your everyday, you start to wonder just how supernatural is your day-to-day -day life. Maybe there are things you haven't even noticed that are unusual and terrifying and ghostly, right? And it can be as simple as that, as just starting to notice that. Then suddenly you get home and you realize that there are eerie things all around you. I would love to hear from you, Biscuits. What area of the country, or in Canada, of the areas that I've road tripped around, would you most like to hear spooky ghost stories about? Are there particular areas, are there countries around Europe that you know I've traveled around? If you follow around on Instagram, you see all my posts on there, when we're allowed to travel. <laughs> um, is there an area that would really bring you delight, or fear and terror, to talk about a little bit. What is something spectacular that you would like to hear about? Would you like to hear about some of my first-hand encounters with the strangely supernatural? Let me know. I want to hear from you. I love making these videos because I always have such fun messaging with you and hearing about some of your really spooky stories. Oh my goodness, I gotta say, some of you have quite the tales on you. Um, wow, I don't know how you, some of you sleep at night. <laughs> some of it is quite scary. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see you in the next video, my lovely biscuits. You are welcome. If you are feeling this month like, oh man, I really wanna get my self-care routine or I'd like to start really focusing on my and feeling good and feeling positive, you are welcome to check out my Patreon. I link down below to that. It's an 18 plus one, um, and we deal with all sorts of self-care and fun, great topics on there. Hey, I'm going to see you in the next video. I love y'all biscuits. Thanks for being part of our channel.